Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at illustrative math for 6th grade. This is Unit 6, Lesson 17, Two Related Quantities, Part 2. The objective states I can create tables to represent the relationship between distance and time for something moving at a constant speed. We're looking at Activity 17.2, the Walkathon. Diego, Elena, and Andre participated in a walkathon to raise money for cancer research. They each walked at a constant rate, but their rates were different. Number one, complete the table to show how far each participant walked during the walkathon. So we can see as our table headings, we have time and hours, miles walked by Diego, miles walked by Elena, and miles walked by Andre. So we need to look at uh, values that we do have in our rows and columns to help us figure out what goes in the rest of the blank spaces. So if you look in Diego's column, you can see that in two hours he walked six miles. So that means in one hour he's going to walk half as much. That's like dividing by two as we move up in that table. So we do the same thing here to keep the rate the same. So he walks at a rate of three miles per hour. Now we want to be careful as we move down this table for time and hours that we don't just assume we're counting by one, one, two, three, five, there might be a skip here, or has to be a skip here, because we're missing at least one row, either the three row or the four row, if we're counting by ones. So let's look at the number of miles that Diego walked. He walked 12 miles. So to go from 3 to 12 in our table, he had to have walked 4 hours. Um, and so we can see that we skipped the three row in this particular table. Um, going from hour four to hour five, again at a rate of three miles per hour, five times three is 15. Diego would have walked 15 miles. All right, Elena walked 11 miles in four hours. So if we want to find her one row, we would divide by four. So to go from 11 to her one row or one hour, we would divide 11 by 4. So 11 divided by 4 or 11 divided by 4. 4 goes into 11 two times with 3 left over. So she walks 2 and 3 fourths miles per hour. Or we could write that as the decimal number 2 and 75 hundredths. So in two hours, she would double that. So double two and 75 hundredths. If that was $2.75, then I would have over $5. I'd have five and a half miles here. And so then to go from hour four to hour five, we would just add her um, hourly uh, rate, how much she walks in one hour, to this to grow by one hour. So we'd have 13.75 miles. Um, miles walked by Andre. So in five hours, he's walked seven and a half miles. To find his one row, we would divide by five. So we're going to divide this by five. Seventeen and a half divided by five. There are three fives and 17 with two left over. Pop that decimal to the top. And so he walks at a rate of three and a half miles per hour. Um, how fast was each participant walking in miles per hour? Well, Diego walks three miles per hour. Elena walks two and 75 hundredths miles per hour. And I know it wasn't intentional, but of course they made the girl walk the slowest because Andre walks at three and a half miles per hour. We know the girls and boys are both strong and <laughs> wonderful athletes, so it's possible that Elena could walk the fastest. It doesn't matter that she's a girl. She shouldn't have to walk the slowest, but that's another talk for another day. Number three, how long did it take each participant to walk just one mile? So we know how long it takes them to walk one hour. So if we wanted to know how long it would take them to walk one mile, we could take that rate and um, use that rate to help us figure out how long it takes to one mile. So take that challenge on yourself to figure how long it would take for that person to walk one mile. Thanks for watching.